All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Alex topic for today. Today we'll be doing calculating heat a reaction from consistent suppression calorimetry data. So, to, so you start off with a student dissolves 13.3 grams of ammonium chloride in 200 grams of water in a well-insulated open cup. He then observes the temperature of the water fall from 23 to 15.3 degrees Celsius over the course of 8.7 minutes. All right, so what does that tell you? So that heat is going down. And therefore, heat is being absorbed, right? Therefore, endothermic. Okay. The minutes is just extraneous information. Alex is just giving you to throw you off. And then, using this data and any information you need from the Alex data source to answer the question below about this reaction, you don't really need anything from the Alex data tab. So don't bother looking for it. And blah 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 blah, blah. round two sig figs. Blah blah blah. Okay, cool. So uh, number two, if you said the reaction was exothermic or endothermic, calculate the amount of heat that was released or absorbed by the reaction in this case. Okay, that's fairly easy. One very commonly used formula for calculating heat, you know, the Q equals M cap. Okay, and we're using water, so the specific heat of water is 4.186. We'll use that value. And then the M mass, okay, so we're, gonna do, we're given 200 grams of water. Okay, so 200 grams of water and 13.3 grams of ammonium chloride. So that's 200 plus 13.3, right? All right, and that's going to give us our M value, 213.3. Right, and then the specific heat of water is 4.186. So we have 213.3 times. 4.186, right? And what is delta T? Delta T is the change in temperature. So 23 to 18.5. That's a difference of 4.5 degrees, right? And then you just pull out your calculator, you calculate it together. All right, you'll get something like 4,017. And then 0.93. Okay, now keep in mind that this is in joules. And Alex wants you to give it in kilojoules. So we're going to have to do some conversion. So we need to know that 1,000 kilojoules is equal to... Sorry, 1,000 joules is equal to 1 kilojoule. So this is equal to 4 kilojoules, basically. And they wanted 2 sig figs. So, so literally 4.0 kilojoules. All right, that's your answer for part B. And then, and then calculate the enthalpy reaction per mole of NH4Cl. All right, so number one, how much does anomium chloride weigh? Anomium chloride's molar mass is 53.491. All right, that's the molar mass. And then we take that, how much mass is given? 13.3. 13.3 grams. Grams. Alright. Divide this. This gives you moles of the, what is it? Ammonium chloride. Answer is 0 0.248 ish moles of NH4 <sighs> NH4 CL NH4 CL. All right. And continue on. We need to calculate the reaction enthalpy per kilojoule per mole. So this is what we do. We take this value the joules value, and we divide it by the moles, 4017.9 divided by zero, uh, 0 0.248, you get this much, 
Now keep in mind this is in joules, Alex wants kJ, kilojoules, so we're just going to move decimal places, four spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's 1.6 kJ. 1.6, wait. Not 1.6, sorry. Um, I'm sorry, 16, I'm sorry. My bad. 16. Dot. There you go. And that's how you do the problem. Um, thank you guys for the for watching. Um, I mean, if you guys want more Alex tutorials, you know, let me down in the comments below, and I'll try to cover them.